On Superstars of Wrestling, the All-Americans acknowledge that, that uh, Tatanka will be out of Survivor Series due to the injuries he suffered at the hands of Ludwig Borga. But he'll, uh, Tatanka will be with us in spirit, Lex Luger says, just like he's there in spirit right now. He's dead? <laughs> that's what I thought. God. That's, that's, that is not, that is what they implied. In spirit. They implied. His spirit is here. Yes. Not in his body. After what Ludwig Borg and Yokozuna did to him. He's totally messed with the fans. Tatanka will be with us. Yay, in spirit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they were like, we didn't send a condolence card. Okay, we're going to buy flowers for the, for the uh, Tatanka family. Uh, here's Tatanka's replacement, The Undertaker. How fitting. People American afraid. badass. He buried him, and then he took his place. Yes. These three men stand for what they believe in, he says. American pride. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a future American badass. It was foreshadowing years Just in the future. That. In honor of their devotion. Can we not hear Craig? That's why I'm sending you a new mic. I will stand That'll solve with that problem. And I will survive with them. Or you could just listen. So let freedom ring. Vinny's at, ranting and raving and like a madman. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> droning like the Undertaker. Let the foreign fanatics rest in peace. And he, I, I remember this. It's a famous shot. He, he opens his coat, the trench coat, to reveal the Betsy oh, Ross yeah. flag has been shown, sewn inside the liner. But I forgot that as he does this, the Steiners and Lex are all behind him. So they didn't see him like flash the crowd. Yeah, <laughs> they thought he was showing his ding dong. The crowd, the crowd's cheering and going crazy, and Lex is looking around like, what, "What's happening?" And he like walks around and says, "Oh, hey, stripes, yeah." So them stars and bars. Yeah, so stars and stripes, dude. Well, I was making a dick joke. Thank you. Okay, I want to clarify. That was the bar. You were making a Dixie joke. Hey, Craig, that was funny. Thank you. You I'm made it funny, clever. Greg. I like that one. I'm very clever. You were listening. Yeah. Finally. Pierre Quebecer versus Lex Luger. Pierre Quebecer. That's his name. It's either Pierre Quebecer or Quebecer Pierre. Not Pierre the Quebecer. Quebecer Pierre is fine. Pierre the Quebecer. I am is pretty fine. sure one time they referred to them as Pierre Quebecer Pierre and Jean. Quebecer is not his fucking Jean name. Quebecer. They're the Quebecers. No. They're not the Quebecers. That's the point. No, they are the Quebecers. No, they're not the Mounties. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I watched this show, believe it or not. <laughs> but they are still playing the Mountie theme, even though they're saying they're not the Mounties. But they're playing the theme, and Bobby <laughs> Heenan is whistling badly as Vince McMahon is being Vince McMahon. Renting about Lex Luger. I'm laughing my balls off. No, of but then Vince goes, that's yeah. a catchy tune. No, that was Bobby. <laughs> no, it was Vince. I'm, I was Bobby. Craig, who was it? No, Vince said that, and then he goes, Bobby, knock it off with the whistling gimmick. What's with this whistling gimmick, he says. Yes, he didn't say that. <laughs> Also, this match was because the fans voted for it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 On a 900 line. Well, it's funny you bring they that up. They had to pay. It's funny you bring that up because they, yes. had, they had to call in a vote for Pierre Quebecer's opponent. But... The show was not live on the West Coast, no. which means everyone on the West Coast dialed in and paid money after the voting was closed. See, that's not, that's not right. They should have all been able to do a chargeback. Well, yeah, that's Vince said. I know a lot about them chargebacks. Vince said, he, was, he, he flatly, in a non-Vince voice, everyone on the West Coast who called in and voted will get a rebate. Wow. A, re a, rebate? a rebate? Not a refund, a, a rebate. A rebate? That's what he said. We'll give you a nine cents back for that 99 cent call. That didn't count. I hadn't thought of that. That's what Vince said. Nah, maybe He'll I'll... be getting a rebate. What a fucking... He's a gimmick. You don't say. <laughs> so... Lex has beaten up Pierre for a long, long time. You mean PCO? It's the future PCO. And uh, the, the, and the always Lex Luger. So they're brawling on the floor, and the spot right before they go to break is Johnny Polo will distract Lex, and PCO will charge, but Lex will turn and hit a backdrop. But the timing was way off, and Pierre just couldn't wait. He charges. I swear to God, Lex like turns and ducks the last second, and he backdropped him with his back turned to PCO. I don't know how that's possible, but it happened. <laughs> you know, I was watching this match, and it's very important when you're watching these old shows to uh, essentially do what Sean is doing, which is watch all of them, as we are doing as well. Because if you go back and you just watch a moment, you come to one conclusion. And, for example, the SummerSlam 93 when Luger didn't win the title, and you look at how over he was, and you're like, oh, man, why... Man, I watched this match, and I'm starting to think a little differently. This match was so goddamn boring. And it was with PCO, who's out there willing to kill himself. Still mm -hmm. is. Yeah. <laughs> and Still then, working and on like, it. Pierre's doing all this stuff, and Luger's just, 
He's they did a chin lock for two fucking straight minutes. Two. Two straight minutes they did a chin lock. Yeah. And, you know, Luger will do this and he's not doing anything. And I'm just watching this going, man, this is not world championship material. Maybe this is an aberration, but I was watching this going. You made the right call going with old Brett. It's world championship wrestling material, that's for sure. <sighs> Lex Luger did not last long. So, yeah, uh, they go to commercial right after that backwards backdrop spot. They come back. Like, the entire segment in the middle is Pierre having him in a camel clutch. And just as they go to commercial number two, Lex is starting to fight to his feet. And so I think when they come back, Lex will be like running wild. No, he's still lying on the mat. Well, it's funny because he was in that camel clutch for about five minutes, too. Yeah. And he fights to his feet, and he gets cut off, and he's on the ground, and he's gasping for air. I'm like, bro, you've been laying in a fucking camel clutch for 10 minutes. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Why are you so tired? That's called a rest hold for a reason. You rest, and then you got some wind. Not Luger. So Pierre goes to a flying leg drop, but he's, I guess he can only do it with his left leg. What he's was on that? the wrong side. So his, his left leg goes across Lex's head. His right leg crashes into his body, almost breaks his other arm. And, uh,. He misses a cannonball. Lex makes his comeback. He hits a bunch of clotheslines. He hits a bunch of punches. He knocks Johnny Pillow off the apron and uses the stainless steel forearm of doom. Yeah, he used the illegal forearm. And, and the announcers and Vince, I mean, they're all bringing it to our attention. That's an illegal forearm. He's not supposed to be allowed to use that. And I'm watching this thing, and he's supposed to be the top babyface. And you're telling me what a fucking cheater this guy is. I did not think this was good at all. We won with the elbow. Now there is a point because this was after the all Ameri- excuse me, the after the foreign fanatics took out Tatanka. And this was Lex saying, "You send one of ours to the hospital, we send one of yours to the morgue, like the Untouchables." So it's revenge. But it is funny that this is like the cartooniest era of cartoony World Wrestling Federation ever, and on top it's a mob war, and they're putting out hits in each other. <laughs> So, uh, Johnny Polo and Jacques Quebecer are there attending to Pierre. Survivor Series is no joke, Vinny. I guess not. Even Lex appeared to be concerned about what he was done. And then we come back from back from break, and Pierre is being stretchered out of the building. Oh, oh man. Another guy down. Yeah, but he, he's out. He is out of this Survivor Series. Diesel versus Sid Garrison. I think I fell asleep during this match. <laughs> you missed well, nothing. I have very, no memory very jealous. whatsoever of this Kevin Nash match. I remember looking at the screen and just being aghast. Like, what am I watching and why? I mean, it would it would have been better if he'd been falling down a lot because then something would have happened. The the best thing about this match was Diesel's hair. He's gone from mullet to pompadour mullet. He's trying to actually be it's, like seven foot four with a pompadour. It's it's amazing. Yes. Uh, they announce first of all, Rio Rogers will be interviewing Shawn Michaels along with Stu and Helen Hart. I'm sure that's what goes as according to plan. So Vince is doing the the ad reads for the Planet of the Apes marathon upcoming here in USA, and he finishes, and Bobby Heaton just perfectly perfectly deadpan, starring Gorilla Monsoon, frontal nudity not accepted. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm watching Diesel put Sid Garrison in a long chin lock. At some point, they decide it's time to go home, brother, and Diesel whips in Sid Garrison, hits the big boot. He lifts that big arm, and he falls down to the guy, and he pinned him. Yep. With a elbow drop. You need to get over various finishers, Vinny. The Rock did it. That power bomb. This was not the people's elbow. That's not enough, dude. <laughs> this is not Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> this is not Dusty Rhodes or Dula the Butcher. They make a big show. It's certainly not The Rock. He just looked at him and lifted his arm and Well, he's down. big, dude. I mean, he's tall. It was yeah, a he's seven foot elbow, elbow drop. Someone in, uh, dude, they just spot on Raw with... Uh, it was Bailey and Bianca, and uh, I, I don't know how it went wrong, but Bianca is, is uh, bent over, and Bailey's going to come off the middle rope and hit her with something, and then Bianca's supposed to bump onto a belt. And uh, and for some reason, Bianca didn't bump. Oh. And so Bailey does his elbow, and you know she's expecting that Bianca's going to take a bump for the elbow, but Bianca just stands there. And, man, she hit her so fucking hard with his elbow because she didn't go down. I thought Bianca was dead. Her whole body twisted. and She just mm. dropped to a knee and was all cattywampus. It was the hardest fucking elbow you ever saw in your life. So an elbow, Vinny, it's a dangerous, dangerous maneuver. You remember when you 
first started training wrestling and you, and you would grab a guy and push him up against the ropes and, and you'd get that new guy in there and he would actually try to whip you into the ropes. He would just throw you. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't actually let you run. Like diesel has had numerous matches under numerous names and is still throwing guys across the ring. Yeah. Like, like day one. Maybe that three. guy didn't go. He was like a third year pro here. <sighs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Survivor Series report with Todd Pettengill. You know, foreign Pierre has suffered a slight concussion. Pettengill believes he won't be able to make it to Survivor Series. You tell me in 1993 they knew that a slight concussion might keep you out of a sporting event. They did say that, in fact. Mm, yeah. How about that? Yeah. That's weird. But they say now that they don't know that. Yeah. What wow. part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you when you irritate <laughs> me, you make me mad. I I guess seeing seeing you guys. When you needle week. me. Quit talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will for Brian, <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns, 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week and these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you no mm -hmm. uh, ah, forget yeah. about it if you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you can enjoy full length editions of the brian and Vinny show wrestling observer live figure four daily with tom lawler and lance storm the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.